What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745. And in this video, we're going to tackle Mission 2's Heroic with Cami and Drax. Let me just say, if you're finding this one difficult, you are not alone. I think everyone is. It's the worst or hardest heroic ever in the game. That's my opinion. My blood was boiling so much, it had me contemplating that it may be the hardest thing I've ever done in any game in my life. So yeah, we failed this one a few times. If you are getting that upset, maybe you should take a break. I couldn't because I had to make this video. But I'm going to try to help you beat this to the best of my ability. Now first of all, shout out to Agent Nuke because I was trying different E-ISO. And I was even tempted to try the Strong Will. I had already beaten it once, but I was looking for a better way to explain it to everyone and hopefully help more. Because it's kind of random at times. It really can go bad quick. Now I still play it basically my own style, and how I did it the first time, but the one thing that he suggested was a Lucid E-ISO, so I did borrow that from him. I was definitely leaning towards some sort of psychic prevention, because Supergiant is so annoying, but my first attempt or first time I beat it, I was using Intrepid Force, and I believe the non-stop E-ISO. So instead I put Lucid on, and also Intrepid Force is great with Kami. When it came to Drax, you have to use Sympathetic. That's just always the way to go with him, because he's going to use his level 2 every single turn, and so that's going to grant him HP back. Now, I think he also recommended that you use the one where you get health back when you rest, but I just went ahead and put the Lucid on Drax as well. Before that, I was using the Aggressive. So yeah, if you have the Lucid E-ISO, it's going to help out a lot. It removes a single harmful Psychic status effect each round. To start the fight with Kami, if I'm able to use the shield as a quick action, I go ahead and give her that shield. Then I start setting up the Blast Mine and Grit. With Drax, at least for me, it depends on how the fight's going. But I actually have Radiation Exposure on his level 6. That's from the Gamma Blade A-ISO. It also should cause Shred so it reduces defense and counts as a bleeding effect for the purpose of attacks. So that's why I will attack with that sometimes. Now you may not even want to attack him if it's up to you, because it does enrage him, though he's going to become enraged just by hitting your Drax. You just may not want to help him out with that. For me, like I said, I don't even worry about it. The only thing I'm really concerned with is are we going to knock him below 50% health? You do not want to do that. So take into account your debuffs as well. Try not to knock these guys below 50%. It will cause him to gain oblivion, so immune to harmful debuffs, he'll wipe out all that radiation exposure and so on. He'll also gain haste, and once he's knocked out, the other two are going to get the same thing once they're below 50%. We did already use that level 6 though because we were fine, but this time I'm a little bit worried we don't want to knock him below 50%, so we're going to go ahead and recharge. Then after we wait through their attacks once again, well, at least sometimes Black Dwarf will actually be immobilized. So that is the case right now. Now, Kami of course can cause this with reduced potential. It can lock out melee attacks. So that definitely hurts him. But unfortunately, you won't always get that. It's just another reason why I hate this battle. It can swing in so many ways. In fact, sometimes Proxima will just impale you. Just knock you straight out. So frustrating. Here though, after setting up that grit, try to get all five of you can. We use her level 9, and that's pretty much going to be her go-to move for knocking these guys out. Mainly because you don't want to knock any of them below 50%. Remember that. Though I'm going to have to say, with this attack from Drax, we probably just did that to Proxima. Basically, we're going to want to knock her out as soon as we get another turn with Drax. Just do not let her linger for long. She's going to start wreaking havoc. Now, whenever you get blood for blood procs, that's also a huge benefit. But once again, something we can't rely on. Now, this time on Kami's turn, we actually do end up using her shield. And then, we kind of end up attacking Proxima. In reality, we should have just went ahead and focused on Supergiant. So, we even did make a mistake, even though this is a pretty solid battle. It's going pretty well. There was just no reason to provoke her there. Anyway, she is going to hit a few more times. And then, we're not going to mess with her again. So we're going to use Distraction on Supergiant. And Drax will definitely knock her out. 
So cry for blood, then we don't mess around, we go right to Daggerfall. And that's the end of her. Super Giant, believe it or not, if you have the Lucid E ISO, is going to be the one you want to leave for last. This is how I've always done it. Well, it's not like I beat it that many times, but this is how I did it before. Still though, I am definitely nervous even at this point. You could still lose, believe it or not. So what I'm going to make sure I do is build up all of our grit. We will get that blast mine on her, but we're going to only finish her with our level 9. Do not knock her below 50%. We won't make that mistake again. Then on Drax's turn, even though we've been pretty much chomping at the bit to try to hit her with him this entire fight, we're going to play it extremely smart and pass our turn. So yeah, we can't finish her so, or at least we don't think we can, so we're just going to wait. Leave it to Cammy. This should actually be her final turn. So she goes after Cammy. Then, we're going to once again use our distraction. Why not? It is a quick action. Then we should have plenty of grit and we'll unleash our charge shot. So that's it. That's the end of Mission 2's Heroic. And yes, it's extremely annoying. Without question the worst. Though it's actually occupied so much of my time, I haven't finished the chapter yet. Well, I mean the first time through. Of course, right now we are going to look at the roulette. And first up is the Ruthless E-ISO for Drax. It's going to give him Oblivion and Haste when his health drops below 50%. So this is going to be incredible. I really want this one. And then to be honest with you, we already have Kami's. We won it the first time, but it's resourceful. Chance to gain an extra turn when attacked. And chance increases as health decreases. Now I didn't use this on her because, well I don't do that because I think it would be unfair. I'm trying to help you beat it. And if you haven't beaten it yet, you obviously didn't get any of these E-ISO. But truth be told, I was hoping I got Draxus so I never had to do this HB again. And we get Cammy a second time. Still worried? You know I can handle myself. Of course, as always. It will be an honor to step onto the battlefield with you again. You're damn right it will. Isn't she a little girl? Anyways. By the way, just as we wrap this one up, I know since I made the video it will help some of you, but I know that there are others that are still going to struggle. You know what? I'm probably still going to struggle. This thing is ridiculous. I sent out a tweet to MAA insiders letting them know that this is just a cheap battle. And to be honest with you, it probably was on purpose to try to hold people back from completing the chapter. It's something that devs can do from time to time. They don't want you to complete the content too fast, so they'll try to put up a brick wall. And possibly over time this one will be fixed or nerfed. I think that's a really shady way to do it, and trust me, it made me extremely upset, so I feel your frustration. As far as any other changes or things you may want to try, well, you could play it even slower. I think that's what Agent Nuke said to do. You practically don't even attack with Drax. Maybe only on Proxima. Basically, you can gain health back from recharging and from Cry for Blood. And just, I guess, use him as a shield. Hoping he gets attacked. Build up those 5 stacks of grit, hopefully with the Intrepid E-ISO or something to help you with that. And take everyone down with Kami's level 9. That certainly does stop the threat of Oblivion and Haste, which you saw me very worried about. The most important thing really is to get Black Dwarf down as fast as you can. Get to working on Proxima, and just don't knock them below 50%. I can't stress that enough. I've knocked Black Dwarf out probably even faster than I did in this one, and then made a mistake of getting Proxima below 50%, and then Super Giant too, or whatever. And we just got rocked. Here we were kind of in trouble, but luckily it did go a little bit better. And if you get hit by Proxima's Impaling Blow, trust me, I got hit by it two or three times. It's infuriating. But just hang in there, keep trying, and you will eventually get it. That is going to be it though for this video, so I want to thank you all for watching. Ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck and take care.